Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Amy. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Today I have a lot of fun project shares. I have put together a lot of the new um, items from the upcoming November release so you guys can kind of get a get a peek at um, everything before it becomes available. And also I wanted to share with you, this is my last project from the October release. So um, I'm gonna start with the October release first. Um, so in this, um, in my project here that I have made, this one I made using, it was the, um, the Door Mini Album. And then I have also used the fringe style flowers. And then um, these are the flowers that we actually made together on my tutorial. So um, this is what they are. So the other flower is from, it's called the Flower Pot 3D gift card holder. Um, I think that's I think that's what it's called. But in the flower pot die set, there are um, first of all there there's the part that makes the the pocket and everything, and the gift card holder. But there's also lots of flowers. So there are actually three different kinds of flowers. You've got some foliage as well. We've got more foliage here. Um, but it's these two particular ones that I have used to make these flowers, and that's the one that I used in the tutorial. So this is my. This is my card. Um, I guess I'll call it a card. It's kind of like a shadow box. Um, so it, it's pretty big. Um, the mini album dies are um, fairly large. So um, this actually measures, let's see here, seven by five. <clears throat> so seven by five and as you can see there's not a lot of room at the top and bottom it's it's a really nice um die set and it has lots of um lots of really good dies in it lots of foliage um as you can see here i've used some of the foliage in here from from that die set but anyway this is my card and then this one here is called the double loop scallop bow this is one of my all-time favorite bows from scrap diva design so that's another one um, that i've used today so as you can see here's my doors and then it's um in the die set it's got all the little frames to create all your little um your little doors around there i use chose to use vellum instead of um, acetate and then i used fake snow um, on all of my windows and everything here just to make it look like a, a winter time like scene and then when you open the doors inside we have this absolutely adorable 3d scene so what I did was um, to create this and as you can see I actually did back my doors on the inside I did um, use the um, the pattern paper again and the window frames again just to give it a really nice finished look because it was going to open and then in the back there what i've done is i took a piece of paper um one of the one of the papers from this collection i think it's called sugar cookie christmas by frank garcia i i'm not 100 percent sure it's one of it's one of those from a few, quite a few years back and then um i've used a die from my stash over here to create um this 3d um christmas tree which I've put all kinds of pom-poms on in order to make it look like a decorated Christmas tree. And then I've put a bow up at the top and then I've got the word believe right above Santa. And that believe word is also part of the, um, the door mini album set. So that is my card. You guys, I think it came out so super cute. I absolutely love it. Um, it doesn't, unfortunately it doesn't fold flat for shipping, um, because it's got that dimensional tree inside. Otherwise, if you had something that could fold flat, then you could just bend it sideways and, and you could, you know, it could be a semi flat other I mean I've got a lot of dimensional stuff on the top but anyway that is my project and um, that finishes off all my um, all my dies that I from um, Erica's October release so that's my first project share for you today and now we're going to get on to more Christmas everything's going to be Christmas now so <clears throat> so in her release that's coming up um, I said that I would come back and I would show you guys all of these. So we've got, um, all this word sets here. So this is the, um, Christmas words number one. Now I did use one of these already. So I'll just show you over here. Jolly is in this set. So the words in set number one are Jolly, Carol's, Mistletoe, Rudolph, Tinsel, and Angel. So that's the 
that's the words in set number one. And I did my usual, if you've um, seen in my other videos, I tend to do all my words the same way. Um, they are just on a regular cardstock piece, followed by, um, this is a, this is actually a two millimeter foam, and then the, the, the cardstock for the top. That's how I choose to do my words. So that's set number one. Set number two, is right here. In this set, we have Traditions, Holly, Sleigh, Chestnuts, Chimney, we have Hot, Cocoa, and Bells. So that is set number two. I absolutely love these words. I love Erica's words. I just think that they're, they're really fun. They're really cute. Um, and I love the, um, the backer piece with the, um, the shadow layer. So that is set number two. <clears throat> set number three is this one. We have December, Peppermints, Santa Claus, Candles, cards and candy. So that is set number three. And um, I think that Erica, she always has these separately, but I think she also usually has them in a bundle. So um, you can get them either way. So that is all of the holiday words and you'll be seeing them making appearances on all my projects. I like to kind of get those done and out of the way first because then um, then I've, I've already got them ready. So the other thing that I've already kind of prepped and got ready to go are all of the elf bows. So she has a small, a medium, and a large. So the small bows <clears throat> are these little guys right here. These bows are so super cute. Love the little detailing. Um, I just think they're adorable. So as you can see, they basically, they have like a detail here. They've got a little edge here and then they've got an edge here, but this is the size of the small one and they measure from end to end, one and three quarters inches. And they are, <clears throat> let's see here, uh, three quarters inch high. So one and three quarters wide, three quarters of an inch high. And that's the small, that's your small bow. Then the medium bows, again, I've already used one of these, so I actually did make three, but I have it on my project here. So this is the medium size bow right here. And these, bow, these bows are just adorable. Um, these ones measure, let's see, two and three eighths by one inch high. So the two and three eighths by one inch high, that is your medium size bow. And then these are your large absolutely just beautiful these are the colors that i have intended to work with on all of my projects so this is how i kind of plan out my crafting i decided what paper collection i was going to craft with and then i moved forward so this is the large bow and this one measures just under it is two and seven eighths wide by let's see here one and a quarter high <clears throat> so it's a pretty good size bow and if you wanted to you could even clip your tails instead and you could turn them downward if you wanted downward facing tails um, I think that that would be really easy to um, change up but anyway so that is the large bow so I wanted to share those all with you guys so you could see them um, the next project that I worked on <clears throat> and oh my goodness I absolutely love this set um, this is called the branches and ornament wreath set so first I'll show you what I've made and then I'm going to kind of show you guys and walk you through kind of how I did these. <clears throat> so these are my tags. You guys, this set is absolutely beautiful. So as you can see here, I've just created a wreath. I have an ephemera piece from the paper collection that I'm working with and I've put a little bow down here in the bottom. I did punch a hole in the top. You can't really see it. It's a pretty tiny hole. And then I put some, um, this is just some some cotton yarn um, through the top. You could easily have just put, um, you could also have just put um, the string attached to the back with a button and then you wouldn't have had to put a hole. But you guys, it's absolutely adorable. So on the back here, it's just the plain backer piece. So this is the back side. You can see it looks really nice and clean. It looks really finished. But anyway, that is my first tag. And then my second one here, I did this one a little bit different. Um, and then this one, I, I have my string up here at the top again. I put some of the flowers that we um, made together in the video. I also have some of the foliage 
from the um from the the door mini album that from the project we just showed and then um we've got a little piece of ephemera um right there and then on the back on this one i actually have one of the wreaths glued to the back i think it still has a really nice finished look but if that bothered you you could absolutely cut one more circle and put it on top here so then you wouldn't actually have you wouldn't see the leaves from the back but um that didn't bother me and and i do tend to like things to look really clean but on this particular one it didn't bother me but i think it gives it a lot of a different look so this this one, I stacked all of the wreaths on top. This one, I put one on the back and one on the front. So it gives it kind of a different look. But what I wanted to show you was kind of how I put these together. So, and I wanted to show you these dies so you can kind of see what you're getting. Um, it's a pretty good sized die set. There's lots of additional foliage. So you get your, your base piece here. This is the one that I was saying. If you wanted to cut a second one out, you could easily cut another one and then glue it on the back. So that's your backer piece. And then these are your wreath pieces. And as you can see here, they cut with this thin, it's like this, the thin little edge right here. So the center cuts out. So you have two different um, wreath ones. So you can get, you can layer them over like this. So in this particular one, what I did was, I die cut two opposing sides, and then I laid one on the front, just like so, and then I took the second one and I put it on the back. That's how I achieved the look on this one. I did not use any additional foliage on this particular one. This one is just these two pieces right here. Now on this guy over here, <clears throat> what I did on this one was, I also die cut out two of these, but instead what I did was, so I took my backer piece, and then I took these two and I actually layered them on top of each other, just like so. So that way I had a full wreath going. And then I glued these two onto the top of my circle. But then after I did that, I also, I had die cut out all of these. You can see there's a lot of additional foliage, which I think is really cool because, um, you could, this is really useful for any project. There's a lot of these. And so you can die cut these out in one pass and then you've got all of this foliage to be able to work with on any of your projects. But what I did was, then I took these foliage pieces and they actually go, they curl right along this. They have the same curl as the edge of the original die. I just went and basically matched them up. I matched the bigger pieces up like this with the flower where they originally were on the wreath. I matched them up. And then the smaller ones, I actually tucked in between the bigger ones. So for instance, <clears throat> if I had die cut this one out, I would have taken this die and I would have laid it. I just glued just this tiny little base piece. I only put glue right here and then I glued it down basically right on top, but, um, and then I just kind of, kind of finger curled it with my fingers. And then I took the additional pieces and I just laid them in between. So that's how I was able to achieve this look on this wreath. So I hope that you guys, um, find that helpful. Um, uh, you know, it's a pretty self-explanatory die, but sometimes, um, sometimes when there's a lot of dies, it can feel very intimidating. So that's how I created these. But anyway, so that's that one. And then uh, my next project that I have created, I use the um, the mini, mini bottle pocket tag. <clears throat> this is a really cool die. Now, okay, so first of all, I mean, it's just really handy and cute. Um, I think you could actually, um, the nice thing about this die, so you've got your little top here to be able to hang on any kind of a bottle. It could be alcohol it could be lotion it could be glue i mean this would be really cute on like a, a larger bottle of glue if you were you know wanting to give some glue to a crafty friend but anyway this is the project this is what it looks like from the back i didn't do anything on the back um just because i just feel like it's not gonna nobody's gonna be looking at that but and then up here on the top i've used this is the medium size elf bow and then in the um in the die set you have a layering piece here which goes on top of the scalloped area and then you 
you have a layering piece that goes on top here and then you have a pocket and then there's also a layering piece for the pocket and then i've just um put on a piece of ephemera from the collection i've used the word jolly because it just looked really super cute with santa and then i put on a couple of pom-poms here um and the really cool thing about this is is this pocket is really neat so it's um really easy to put on really easy to put together and you'll see i've actually used it again in my next project but so that is um the mini bottle talk um mini bottle pocket tag and the one thing i do like about this is that these dies to me are something that you could use on a lot of projects um specifically like the scalloped um the scallop die with the layering piece right here i think that these are really really good staples to just kind of have in your you know in your crafty stash because you could use these on anything. They could be on a card. You could actually turn this into a tag. Um, you could put the pocket on and make it into a tag. I had originally considered doing that, but I really wanted to show how it looked with the bottle part. But anyway, so that is my next project. <clears throat> and then my last project for today, I'm super excited to share with you guys. This is my elf bag. So I'm going to call this the way I designed this was when I looked at the dies, when I was putting it together, I wanted it to look like a little girl elf apron, like the elf that's in Santa's workshop making toys. This is what I imagine that she would be walking around in just all jolly and cute. So this is, I just, this die set is absolutely adorable. So this is called the elf, um, elf mini album. Let's see. I think that's what it's called. Yes. Elf mini album. And in this die set, there's a couple of things that I did not use. There is a piece, um, there is a piece for you to make a mini album. And then there also are these little jingle bells and I can show you what they look like. I did die cut them out. I just didn't end up using them on my project. And I actually flipped them over. They're completely symmetrical. So I actually glued two um, together. So they're pretty sturdy and now they're like, they'll look cute from any direction or angle but that's the them. <clears throat> and then within this set, there are a lot of pieces that you can do to make shaker pieces. So this is a shaker piece that you could use to make the belt. Um, I chose to just make a belt, but you could do a shaker piece. And then there is a large rectangle right here um, that you could, it actually nests inside of this die right here. And it is a frame die. So you actually could make a shaker out of this one and then have a shaker here on your elf as well. So there are a lot of extra really cute um, dies in this collection that I did not use. But anyway, this is my elf bag. So over here, I just added some straps. I wanted it to look like straps on, on her little apron. And then I've used the um, double loop scallop bows again. Um, I didn't double them up this time. I just used one single layer. There are actually layering pieces that go on here. And then here we've got the little elf cuff. And then I did not add the bells. I originally thought about doing it, but they just weren't hanging the way I wanted. So I ended up using pom-poms instead. And then here is, um, this is um, the, the belt. And then you've got your cute little belt buckle. And then as you can see, um, I've used, this is the base piece and then this is the layering piece. And of course, if you wanted to make a shaker piece, then it's a third layering piece. And then this is the sides. <clears throat> and this is what I was talking about. So I have actually, this is the pocket from this die set. I've actually added it onto the sides of my, my elf box. And I think it's cute because it looks like an apron that, you know, I mean, if she was walking around in the North Pole, she would have pockets in her aprons. And I just thought it was really cute, fun, and whimsical. So, and then on the back side, I've actually done exactly the same with the only differences is um, because I wasn't going to put the belt on the back. I did put a really cute paper from the collection. I just thought this is, I love this deer from this collection. This is an older Frank Garcia line as well. Um, I'm spacing on the name of it, but it's about three years old. And then I've just got all my pom-poms here and that's that. Um, and just so you know, so assembled here, we are looking at um, the elf itself, like the base is, it's just under four and three eighths. And then it is, let's see here. It is about 
five and three quarters high. So it's a really, um, it's a really good size die. You could do a lot of things with this. Um, in case anyone was interested in knowing, this is three inches deep. That's what I did on this because I wanted to have lots of room. You can see um, there's lots of room in here to be able to put lots of goodies. I didn't know who I might give this to. Um, and so I wanted to leave lots of space for anything that I might want to put inside. But anyway, so that is my third project, my, my last project share, I should say, for today. Um, anyway, I want to thank you all for stopping by and sharing some time with me. Um, don't forget these dies come out on November 1st. So, um, in the drop down box, I will have all the dies listed that I have used today, but there aren't links for them yet, but I will go back and I will add links, um, when they go live in the shop. Um, so yeah, so, um, I'm expecting a lot of these are going to sell out. So make sure if there's something that's on your wish list here, make sure go and grab it right away. And anyway, um, as always, don't forget, you can use my code Amy10 for 10% off your purchases at Scrap Diva Designs. And I want to thank you guys so much for stopping by. Um, I appreciate all your super kind comments. And I know you, a lot of you are like really, really excited about this release, just like I am. And um, anyway, I want to thank you so much for stopping by and sharing some time with me. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.